I'm really a criminal trying not to be one. I'm so honest about it. Like I'm, I've been arrested for 26 violent felonies. Oh my God. All Who violent. are you fighting? Everyone. I love to fight. It's my favorite thing to do. That is my problem. I, I like follow to fight. you. I do all bad things on accident. This is the story of Willena Simone Bibbs, age 20, an aspiring singer who was gunned down by her multi-platinum songwriter and producer boyfriend, Justin Wright, age 34, who she met not too long after she relocated to Atlanta, Georgia, to pursue her music career. She was murdered on Mother's Day by the person who she thought would be the love of her life. This all happened because of an issue that arose from a $70 dispute. Hello and welcome to Twisted Crimes. Subscribe and hit the like button for more stories. 20-year-old Willana Bibbs was shot and killed in Davenport on Mother's Day. Davenport is a city on the Mississippi River in eastern Iowa. Davenport is the third largest city in the state of Iowa and the largest municipality in the Quad City metropolitan area, which includes four counties located in two states. Will Anna was born in Chicago, Illinois, on September 9, 2000. She was the youngest of four children and grew up in a loving and supportive family. Her parents, Thomas and Cassandra Bibbs, provided a nurturing environment for their children. They encouraged their dreams and instilled in them the values of love, respect, and kindness. When Will Anna was 15 years old, her mother decided to move the family to Atlanta, Georgia, in search of better opportunities. Will Anna embraced the change and adapted well to her new surroundings. She attended high school and quickly became known for her kind heart and infectious smile. A talented and ambitious young woman. Will Anna was a sweet, beautiful, and smart girl who had a bright future ahead of her. She loved music, dancing, and traveling. Her passion for singing was evident from a young age. Her captivating voice and natural talent garnered attention from local music producers. She also performed at several events and shows and also participated in a beauty pageant called Miss Black Georgia USA in 2019. In addition to her musical aspirations, Willanna also had dreams of becoming a nurse or a lawyer. She had a thirst for knowledge and a deep desire to make a positive impact in the world. Her determination and work ethic were admired by those who knew her. Willanna's life took a tragic turn when she met Justin Wright, also known as Jay Wright, through an online platform. Jay Wright was a multi-platinum songwriter and producer, who appeared to have a successful career in the music industry. It's crazy to me how many people are already rich and they don't even know. Being rich is not about the amount of dollars that you accumulate. It's about how you live your life, how you treat other people, and the legacy that you leave behind after you go. He had worked with renowned artists like Timbaland, Rick Ross, Gucci Mane, DJ Khaled, Nipsey Hussle, Future, Bow Wow, Amaria, Lil Fizz, Cash Doll, and many more. He was also the founder of Camp Entertainment Worldwide, a record label and music management company. He seemed to be successful and wealthy, but he also had a dark side. At first, Will Anna was captivated by Jay Wright's charisma and talent. She believed she had found someone who shared her love for music and understood her dreams. However, as their relationship progressed, Jay Wright's true colors began to emerge. He has a very bad side, he can be heard in this clip bragging about his evil side. So Jay Wright, tell the people, because the people want to know, and when I say people, I mostly mean me, because I'm here yeah, in person yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah. What the you had with? Listen, if you really know the background of who Jay Wright is, I'm really a criminal trying not to be one. I'm so honest about it. Like, I'm, I've been arrested for 26 violent felonies. Oh, my God. All violent. Who are you fighting? 
fighting. Everyone. I love to fight. It's my favorite thing to do. That is my problem. And I'm, I'm one of those people that really stand You are not a true light skinned person because they don't, don't be trying to get dirty Listen, and I am fight. I'm light with dark skin tendencies. Okay, I got you. I don't act nothing like anybody else that look like me. I, I like follow to fight. you. I do all bad things on accident, but it's because I stand for things, though. So. Okay. I I'm can see that. I'm going to protect my family and my friends at all costs, no matter what that means for me. Absolutely. And I really stand by that. So if I got to go to jail behind that, die behind that, or kill behind that, I'm a man and I really stand on that. So okay. if I got to sit down for a little while because of it, I'm going to sit down because of it. But I have great lawyers. Shout out to Mike Jacobs, even though he's not doing the greatest job right now. That's Dirk Lawyer. That's Vaughn Lawyer that got yeah. them out of the shooting um, at Varsity. The alleged shooting, I should say. Yeah, alleged. So he got them out of that situation. Um, he got me out on bond. So, you know, I can't be too sad. He's very expensive, but... You know, we keep good lawyers. I'm not a felon. I've been arrested for 26 felonies, but I'm not a felon. His mentor is R. Kelly. He was said to get young girls with talent, groom them and try to keep them as long as possible without letting them off his grip. It usually ends bad whenever they try to leave. His previous girl recounted what she went through in his hands and also how Will Anna snatched him from her. She shared her little story in this clip. So I'll just speak for the rest of the video. At this point, they're dating. He's holding me in his apartment with her help. Um, he's pissed me. He's shitting me. He has Instagram. He was pretending to be me selling the page. This is a screenshot of a post that he posted. And people were actually sending him money just simply thinking that they were buying the page off of me. And on top of that, he left my PayPal balance thousands of dollars negative not to mention what he did with my credit score and he can also be seen in this video while he was in jail during a visitation with his previous girlfriend justin's behavior soon turned controlling abusive and manipulative he began isolating willana from her loved ones slowly cutting off her support network he monitored her phone calls and messages making sure she had no contact with friends or family. He even coerced her into deleting her social media accounts, further isolating her from the outside world. The abuse escalated over time. Justin Wright would physically assault Will Anna, leaving her with visible bruises and marks. He would berate and belittle her, shattering her self-esteem and confidence. He used fear as a weapon, threatening to harm her or her loved ones if she ever tried to leave him. Will Anna's mother, Cassandra Bibbs, witnessed the changes in her daughter and the toll it took on her. She desperately wanted to rescue Will Anna from the toxic relationship. Determined to bring her daughter home, Cassandra purchased a plane ticket for Will Anna to visit Atlanta for Mother's Day weekend in 2021. The tragic turn of events. However, Justin Wright's mother intervened, manipulating Will Anna into staying with him in Iowa instead. Cassandra had a sinking feeling about Justin from the start and had warned her daughter about him. Despite her mother's concerns, Will Anna chose to stay, unaware of the impending tragedy that awaited her. May 9, 2021, was supposed to be a day of celebration and love as the world honored mothers. For Will Anna, it became a day of unspeakable horror and the end of her young life. That day, Will Anna sent her mother a text message wishing her a happy Mother's Day and expressing her love and appreciation. Little did Cassandra know that it would be the last communication she would have with her beloved daughter. That same day around noon, Will Anna and Justin Wright were in Davenport, Iowa, attending a birthday party for one of Justin's relatives. They were staying at his cousin's house on Calvin Street. Witnesses reported that an argument broke out between them, possibly over money or Justin's music career. 
Justin accused Willanna of stealing $70 from him, an allegation she vehemently denied. In a fit of rage, Justin Wright retrieved a gun from his backpack and fatally shot Willanna in the head. He then made a devastating phone call to his mother, confessing to his heinous act. It was the morning of Mother's Day when Cassandra Bibbs got a text from her daughter. She said, hey, Ma, happy Mother's Day. I love you and appreciate you for everything you do. Love, bud, call me. And she told me to call her. Later in the day, she gave her daughter a call and got no answer. But while at work, she noticed several missed calls. She called me about four times in a row, like back to back to back to back. Her daughter, 20-year-old Willanna Bibbs, was in Davenport with her boyfriend, 31-year-old Justin Wright. According to Willanna's mom, they were in the area for a birthday party. That relationship they had was toxic. Cassandra says the couple fought and Wright was controlling. I think that he might have been just a little bit jealous of the relationship we had because we always called her, we always checked on her. And just before 1.30 on May 9th, Davenport police responded to the 1500 block of Kelvin Street for a disturbance. It was there while Anna was pronounced dead by first responder. The aftermath and the search for justice. Shortly after the shooting, around 1.25 p.m., a call was made to the police about a disturbance at the residence on Calvin Street. When the authorities arrived, they discovered Willanna's lifeless body on the floor a victim of senseless violence. The news of her tragic death sent shockwaves through her family and community. Justice's cousin, who was present at the scene, recounted the horrifying moments. He heard the gunshot from upstairs and rushed downstairs to find Justice holding Willanna's lifeless body, consumed by grief. Desperate to save her, he attempted CPR but to no avail. Willanna was gone, her dreams and potential snuffed out by an act of brutality. Justice was apprehended without incident at the scene. He was charged with first-degree murder, facing the consequences of his actions. He remains incarcerated at the Scott County Jail, held on a $500,000 cash-only bond. During his trial, Justice pleaded not guilty and requested a court-appointed attorney. He claims that he is not making any money right now and that he has been living out of hotels since his belongings were stolen in November. Justice was sentenced to life in prison without parole on June 15, 2023. He did not speak during the sentencing hearing. When his mother asked if she could say goodbye to her son as he was being escorted out, a deputy shook his head no and kept walking. The motive behind the murder. The motive behind Willanna's murder remains unclear but speculation suggests that it may have been triggered by her attempts to end the relationship or conflicts over money and Justice's music career. The police continue to investigate the case, meticulously gathering evidence to shed light on the tragedy. The devastated family and friends. Willanna's untimely death has left her family and friends devastated. They are united in their grief and their determination to seek justice for her. In their sorrow, they have come together to honor her memory and raise awareness about the dangers of domestic violence. A GoFundMe page has been set up by Willanna's loved ones to help with funeral expenses and to support initiatives aimed at preventing domestic violence. They have also taken to social media to share their cherished memories of Willanna, expressing their love and deep sadness over her loss. Willanna's cousin, in a heartfelt message left on Justice's Instagram page, held him accountable for her death. He accused Justice of brainwashing and manipulating Willanna, ultimately leading to her tragic demise. The pain and anger in his words speak volumes about the profound impact Willanna's death has had on her family. Cassandra Bibbs, Willanna's mother, spoke with a broken heart, describing her daughter as her sweetheart and sweet baby. Despite the immense pain, Cassandra finds solace in her faith, believing that it is the anchor that keeps her going. Rest in peace, Willanna Bibbs and may your family and friends find relief. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.